Okay, in this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to take our code from our Make Code website, download it, and then import it into our microbit. So, uh, as you can see, I have some code here. And uh, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to save it. And then I always like to hit my download then just to make sure. Uh, as you can see, it already went through the download process, uh, but it's just a way for me to double check. That's up to you if you like to do that or not. So now my code is uh, downloaded. You can see I have it at a CDC for a uh, countdown clock. Now what I'm going to do, uh, I have my micro bit plugged in via the USB port. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here to the top uh, right corner of my browser and I'm click on those three little dots to launch this. And I'm going to click on Downloads. And you can see that this opens up my Downloads folder. Next, I'm going to come up here to the top right again, and I'm going to click on these three dots that uh, indicate more actions. Click on there and open up your Downloads folder. Now, uh, your window is going to look a little bit different than mine because you are working through a Chromebook, most likely here in class. Um, but all you have to do is locate this uh, file that we just created. And as you can see, it says Microbit CDC. And you can see even the time and date uh, stamp on there. Now, over here on the left-hand side, what we want to do, we want to find our micro bit. And right here is mine. It says micro bit D. So uh, real easy. I'm just going to click on my micro bit CDC file. Click on it. Hold it down. I'm going to drag it over here to my micro bit. Notice that little uh, plus sign comes in. It says copy to micro bit. I drop it in there. Um, you're going to see my download start through here. But also, if you flip your micro bit around, you'll see a blinking orange uh, light. That means that it is downloading. You can see it only takes a short time. And now that is uh, downloaded. You can see you probably even get a little um, indication that it has completed. Uh, once that happens, you can test it out. You can uh, press uh, the button uh, that you chose uh, to create this countdown clock and make sure that it works. So hopefully this uh, makes sense there for you. And if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Alrighty, take care, guys.